Well, let's practice identifying different types of epithelial tissue. And what we're going to do is uh, look, do some practice for our epithelial practice slides, brought to you by Curious Maryland. Now, what I'm going to do is first review the um, different things that you need to focus on when you're doing epithelial. First is one of your four types of t body tissues for histology. And one of the things you want to focus on is um, the shape of the cells and the layers of the cells. So I'm not going to go over this in great detail because I've made other videos. You can watch them. So remember, you've got shapes and then you've got layers. And here, if you want to go through this or pause this video, if you're one of my students, you should have access to these, this material. So what I want to do now is I'm going to switch slides and do some practice. And what I'm going to do is show a slide and then show the answer, slow the slide, show the slide and then show the answer. And what I'll probably do is just do a speed round at the end. All right, let's begin. So here are the slides. So I'm going to go here and take a second. If you're one of my students, what I recommend is finding the PowerPoint that's on Blackboard and going through and doing this for yourself. So here's the answer. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back and forth and just going to advance the slides. And there's like 25, so I'm going to go through this really quickly. I'll stop and um, give some, uh, you know, some elaboration or pointers on how to tell one type of slide from another. So here we go. Here's number two, pseudostratified columnar. What I probably should do is go in order. So <laughs> let's, let's start again. So that's pseudostratified columnar. There we go. And here's number three. Take a second, see what the answer is. And I'm up here while we're doing this. Now, one of the things you'll notice, this is kind of upside down. Here's your basement membrane. Here's your apical surface. And here's the lumen. What do you think this one is? It is transitional epithelium, and it's unstretched. How do you know unstretched versus stretched? If it was stretched, these cells would be flat. And these top cells near the apical surface, they're called dome cells. And then you'll see uh, if it was stretched, this would be flat like a full bladder. This is a, a empty bladder. All right, so let's do this. Number four. All right, what do you think it is? Here we go. Pseudostratified columnar. One of the things you should look for is the cilia here. And the nuclei are not... Uh, uniform, as you would see with regular columnar. All right, here we go. This should be stratified squamous. All right. And again, so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of these slides. I'm just going to advance, show you a picture, and show you the answer. The purpose of this is a quick review, so I'm not going to do much elaboration. Here's a look at these cells. Let's see what are, what are they. This is simple cuboidal. Look at the shape. If this was columnar, imagine this being a little bit longer. All right. And check our answer. Simple columnar. All right. Take a guess. Advance. Pseudostratified. Now, this one you can see um, it's pretty interesting because. This is a whole row of cell. This is a cell. This is a look at the nuclei. They're in different locations because they it gives the illusion of a stratified layer, but this from here down to here is one layer. And this is right underneath. This is the basement membrane. Here's your apical surface. There's your lumen. All right. Now make a note. See this flat cell? Flat going all the way around. This is a lining. One of the characteristics, one of the properties of epithelia is to work as a liner. So that's simple. This is a flat, simple squamous cell. All right. Now take a look at this. See the nuclei, they're uniform. You don't see any cilia coming out of this. So what do you think it is? Got to go back to the next one. And that is simple columnar. Okay, simple columnar. That was simple columnar. Apical surface, lumen, 
basement membrane. This down here is actually connective tissue down here. This is a cross section of your skin. You ought to be able to know the tissue by their location, know what and their function and the basic description of the cells. And that makes this squamous, but it's stratified, several layers. All right, let's keep going. What do you think that is? Transitional, unstretched again. You see the dome cells up here. All right. This is um, another simple squamous. And again, when you're watching this, I'm showing the un the unlabeled one, and then I'm going to go to the next answer. The answer has the previous one, so I got a down arrow. So don't be confused. Pause the video if you need to. All right. Let's move on. What do you think this is? Str again, stratified squamous. And I went backwards, so let me go and just gave the answer where that's simple cuboidal, if you look over here. So number 15, cube, simple cuboidal. All right. This now, what is this? Notice the cilia. Notice the new, this is one layer. It looks like several layers, but this is one layer. So that would make this pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, PCCE. All right. Notice the nuclei. All right. And actually, this is this is the lumen. This is the lumen. This is the connective tissue. All right. So that makes this simple columnar. So let's get a frame of reference for this. This is connective tissue. This whole thing, if you were and this, if you're looking at um, a cross section of the small intestines, what this actually would be is what we call microvilli. Not the microvilli of a cell, but the microvilli within the small intestines. And this is where they're going to be uh, absorbing during digestion. Let me throw myself back into the video here. So this is the lumen. That's the lumen. This right here is going to be connective tissue, and there's going to be some blood vessels. See, the, the product of the, the food products that are being broken down, they're going to be diffusing across these membranes and they're going to get into this thing called the lacteal and this is going to connect to the bloodstream and that's going to go, that's how you're going to absorb your food. All right. I'm out of sync here. All right, so number 18. And that's going to be cuboidal. Right, cuboidal, stratified squamous again. All right. Now look at this. Let's see if you can point this out before I go to the answer. Look at the flat cell, but underneath it is not another flat cell. It's circular. So this is the lumen. This is well, connective tissue. That makes this transitional stretched. Earlier, I showed you transitional unstretched. Notice this flat cell. This would be like a dome cell. So this is transitional epithelia. 21. Again, pseudostratified. And I'm going to switch to uh, another PowerPoint in a second. So let's just kind of look at another example, simple columnar. And that kind of ends that. All right, so let me go back, and this has been a good review, and what I'm going to do is just do um, four or five slides, and this time I'm just going to give you uh, my answer choice. So let me just pause for a second. Are you ready for the speed? Are you ready for the speed round? Okay. Now, this time, what I'm going to do is uh, throw myself out of the way here, and here's your list of answers. By the way, if you're one of my students, you will not have a word bank. All right. So this should be simple squamous right here. All right, next one. Take a second. Stratified squamous. They're flat cells. There's one layer. Simple squamous. Okay, so that's what I mean by the speed round. All right, what do you got? This is their cilia. Okay. 
It looks like a bunch of layers, but it's actually from here down to here, that's that's a cell, that's a cell. Look at the nucleus for this one over, over here, and then look at the nucleus here. And in, dispersed in between here might also be goblet cells. Okay, next one. This should be transitional. Look at the look at the layers, but then you see the different dome cells there. Okay, by the way, this PowerPoint's on a timer. That's why I call it the speed round. Okay, here we go. Simple cuboidal. There's a cell. There's a cell. Um, keep going, keep going. All right, so next one. Except this video's going on kind of long. This would be what? This is going to be, what do you see? Simple columnar. There's the lumen. All the nuclei are kind of uniform, unlike pseudostratified. Okay, next one. Flat cell liner. This is the opening. This is the lumen. This is probably like a cross section of an alveoli. That would make this simple squamous. It's a really. It's another view. And you have to look at how you get these um, shots during the cross sections here. All right. Next, simple cuboidal. This is going to be the um, columnar. Okay, simple columnar. That's the whole cell. This is a. Uh, uh, this isn't blown up like the other cells. So th here's your, all this. There's your, there's your, or, uh, here's your basement membrane. Here's your apical. Well, uh, let's go back to that for a second. Here is uh, the lumen right here, and then this would your be your what I'm saying your is your AP, which is your apical surface. That's written very poorly. Okay, let's move on. A couple more. All right, a couple more. Um, what is this? There's the cilia. All right. Here we go. All right. This should be transitional. If this was stratified squamous, you would see these cells. It would be like this, flat, flat, till you get down to the basement membrane. Then you might see some cube shapes, but it would be flat like this all the way down until you get to the connective tissue. All right. Like you see here. See this? All the, from here down to here, these are all strata, these are all squamous cells. And you can even see the squamous, the squamous, the squamous, or squamous. Some people like to say squamous, tomato, tomato. All right, but you remember your apical surface is your determining factor for telling if and w what type of stratified layer you're looking at. So again, that was that last one was that was stratified squamous. All right, okay, I think this is my last one, and this, believe it or not, is actually. Um, another transitional one. Some people might mistake this for cuboidal, but you see these all these shapes here. So this is this is unstretched. All right. Brought to you by Curious Randland. Okay, if you're one of my students, hopefully you had a chance to watch this video. Um, you want to watch it again? Again, if you skip to minute 11, that's where you get to the speed round. All right. Thanks for watching.